G'day guys, Crumpy Cliff back again with another five minute bite of minute review. This time we've got another three inch drone. This one is called a tur Turtles. Yeah, one of those names, Turtles. Where would you get, what would you call a drone Turtles? Anyway, we'll stick it on the bench, have a quick look, and then we'll take it out for a spin. First up, this is a decent frame. This thing is three mil thick. Arms and the body, which is great. So strong, it's not gonna break every time you land it hard or crash it. Some pretty crappy props on it. I suggest you put three bladed props on this, it will go a lot harder. This thing all up weighs about 120 grams. That's without the battery, of course. There's just a uh, F3 flight controller inside that with beautified OSD, which is about normal these days. Got a decent camera on the front of it for a change. Run cam micro Sparrow, CMOS camera. Down the bottom, we've got the Bow Holly S, uh, 20 amp BSC, which should take up to uh, D Shot 600. VTX in the top, which actually plugs into the mount on top of the flight controller, which is quite neat. So it's a type of stack, I guess you could call it. That's 25 milliwatt to 200. The motors are 1306s, 3100 kV. So this thing should have a bit of poke. XT60 connector. This one I did put an XM Plus receiver in there. It does come with options for receivers. Um, so I like that one the best, so I find they're the most reliable. Anyway, what we'll do, we'll get out in the field and uh, take it for a spin. Here we go with the Turtles. Little three inch. Uh... Yeah, it's just, it seems a bit lame compared to uh, the XJB. Though it, I'm not getting any isolation, so. Oops. Um, yeah, it just flies alright, but it does lack a bit of punch. Like, like it's, it seems a bit slow compared to what we're used to, but I reckon someone starting out like this, it's pretty stable. Yeah, it seems like it could be all tightened yeah. up a little bit, doesn't it? And it could yeah, it does. Really quite, yeah, quite yeah, good. I reckon you could probably tweak this to go a bit harder. But it, uh, look, it's it goes where it's pointed, so that's important. If you're starting off, this would be a great little quad to practice on because it's uh, not going to get into trouble real quick with it. And there's room to move with it later. Let's go right, though. Well, what do you reckon, Cal? This is uh, the Turtles. It's a nice little three inch. It looks good. It's got some good camera protection. Uh, I don't know about these motors, though, but we'll find out in a minute. Let's see how it goes. But there's nothing wrong with the pace of this thing. It's moving along pretty good. But um, look, it's it's flying quite competently. It's quite stable. Could probably benefit from a little bit of expert PID tuning. It seems like it's a reasonable little quad and uh, I'd be happy to own it or to give it to a friend who is interested in learning how to fly. This would be great for that because it's, like I said, it's a little bit tame, more tame than the XJB, which is uh, what you want when you're learning, really, because the XJB is a terror. And uh, this is a, a little bit more tame. So uh, with a little bit of a, a great pigeon, well, with a little bit of a pig tune, uh, I think you'd have something pretty special with this little thing. Great little flyer, I've got to say. I like the look of it, I like the frame. The whole quad is fairly practically arranged in terms of antenna placement and protection for cameras and everything. So I like that. The frame is good. It looks like it'll hold up in a, in a crash too. Yeah, look, it, it's not a bad little flyer. It's not everything. It's not going to be everything to everyone. Look, it has some deficiencies and has some things you can uh, make better. But uh, all in all, it's not bad. All right, thanks, Cool. No worries. Okay, back with the conclusion for the turtles. Great name in it, turtles. What would you call it? Quite a turtle. Anyway, this thing flew well. I was quite impressed with it. So was Cull, actually. So um, look, for the money, it's well worth 165 bucks AU or $120 US. So uh, it's not, uh, look, it's not a uh, fast machine, but it's stable and it flies okay. So, and it's quite nimble. Anyway, I liked it. If you're interested, I'll leave a link below. You give us a thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't. Anyway, catch you next time.